the CME Group. You know, for the last couple of days, we've all been hearing about the Fed and Chairman Bernanke on the Hill. Um, you know, again, when, if and when they do the QE stuff, it's a matter of you know what continues to happen in the uh, you know in the markets and the economy. Uh, you know, there's a lot of talk of happening maybe August 1st, some type of uh, you know QE stuff. Uh, and another date put out there has been September 13th. I'm not sure why those dates are uh, pinpointed, but uh, you know there's chatter regarding that. Um, you know, again, this isn't something that's going to happen overnight. Uh, you know, the global growth picture still is uh, deteriorating. We also look at uh, you know the uh, U.S. EPS earn, er, earnings per share coming out. Uh, you know, heavy now, starting to you know looking forward. You know, they started out a little sluggish, and they've picked up. The financials have uh, caught a bit based off uh, you know their earnings. Uh, you know, it's helped to prop the market up. Over the last few days, we've heard uh, enough chatter about uh, you know asset reallocation. You know, today we're hearing something about uh, ch at a Goldman's uh, London desk that uh, the core uh, fixed income, Europe, European fixed income, they're moving out of that and into some European equities. Uh, you know, on the downside uh, support here on the S&Ps, we're looking at the 1357 even area, below that 1353, uh, followed by 1347 on the upside. We've got uh, a recent high I saw was uh, 1364 even today's high. Uh, you know, above that we've got uh, you know an upside target above at 1370 even, and followed by 1375. There's certainly with the uh, rally that we've had over the last few days, some type of profit taking can come in. Um, you know, and maybe some back and fill, but there sure is plenty of stops left on the upside. Uh, have a great day trading, and we'll come back. Thank you.